Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Will It Steam Controller. This is the show where we take a game and figure out if we can play it on our couch using the Steam Controller. Today we are looking at the instant classic Minecraft. What more could be said about this game that hasn't already been said? It provides adventure by giving you a massive, unending world to explore, a sense of accomplishment when you eventually master surviving in this land, and an outlet for creativity by letting you make anything your imagination comes up with using over 5,000 different blocks. Using the Steam Controller, we can do all of this from the comfort of our couch, without ever having to rely on using a keyboard. Let's dive right into the config I eventually settled on. We'll start by assigning the joystick to be our WASD buttons, letting us move around in every direction. I used a trick that I've used before to set up a sort of analog movement, Setting the outer ring binding to inverted and then assigning it to the shift key means that when I press the stick forward only a little, the shift key will be held. This allows me to move slowly when I push the stick only a little and move normally when I hold it all the way. You can also click in the joystick to toggle between crouching and standing. Even though Minecraft now has the auto jump option, I turned it off because it just didn't suit me. It was causing too many issues going down ladders and such. To allow me to jump without taking my thumb off the trackpad, I set the trackpad click to the spacebar. That way I can look around even while jumping and moving around. The A button is still set to jump though, just for familiarity's sake. Finally, you can sprint by using the right grip or by pushing forward on the stick twice. As is typical for me, I set the right trackpad to be mouse look. I like having it pretty sensitive with low friction. This way I can swipe left or right and quickly do a 180 turn. To aid with fine vision control, I set the gyro aim to mouse look as well. It's only active when you have your thumb on the right trackpad. This really helps when placing blocks or when using the bow. You can also double click on the left trackpad to change your view to third person. The right trigger is set to the mouse click, letting you mine with a pickaxe, attack with a sword, or do whatever else you need. The left trigger is the interact button or to use the left hand item when you are dual wielding. Y drops the currently held item, and X will swap a held item from one hand to the other. B brings up your inventory, and the start button opens up the game's menu. Now for some of the more interesting features. I couldn't decide if I wanted to have the left trackpad as a scroll wheel for selecting items in your hotbar, or if I wanted a button pad for the numbers 1 through 9. So I did both. Long pressing the left shoulder button lets you switch between two modes for selecting items. The first mode lets you circle your thumb around the trackpad, clockwise for right and counterclockwise for left. Too slow for you? Then switch to the other mode and the trackpad turns into a button pad. You can now instantly swap between eating carrots and eating steak, if you want, for that double eating goodness. Another sticking point was using the mouse in the menu. Personally, I think it works well enough with the sensitivity the same as the regular gameplay, but it can be cumbersome, so I added another mode to this trackpad as well. When in your inventory, crafting at a table or using the furnace, holding the right bumper turns the trackpad into a mouse region. This means that the trackpad is mapped one-to-one -to, -one to the screen, but it's restricted to the actual area of the menu. Since your finger is now required to hold the bumper, just click in the trackpad to click the mouse. Just don't press the right bumper during normal gameplay or else this happens. So how does this config work? I think I'll just let the results speak for themselves. All of what you see here I made using only the Steam Controller, and a lot of it while sitting on my couch in the living room. The hunting lodge style house, the tall cobblestone watchtower, this underwater room that was super annoying to build, I even filled out all of these maps this way, going on long adventures with my faithful steed, Usain Colt. All in all, the Steam Controller in no way detracted from the wonderfully pleasant experience of playing Minecraft. Let me know in the comments if you tried this config, or if you need help getting it set up. I'd also love to have suggestions for games to try the Steam Controller with. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.